One of the most important parts of Xyron Create and Cut is the Design Central menu. So we're going to take a little bit of a closer look at Design Central. First of all, you'll notice the Design Central loads, usually loads defaults on the, on the right hand side. I'm going to show you the select arrow, which is active right now. Um, when you have the select arrow selected, Design Central reflects the document setup. Um, by clicking on the portrait button, we will be in portrait mode. Switching to landscape puts us in landscape mode. So it's reflecting all our document setups. But now if we switch to text mode, we're going to get a whole different set of options available in Design Central. You'll notice that there are two tabs. The A is the text editing, and the next one is the paragraph editing. So let's go ahead and let's type some text. We'll type the word test. And I'll go ahead and I'll go back to the pink select arrow and select the word test. And you'll notice Design Central has completely changed again. And we now have four tabs available. The, tool text, the two text tools are on the right hand side, but we also have our sizing tool and our rotation tool. By clicking on the sizing tab, we can change the size and position and proportions. Um, by clicking on the rotation tab, we're able to rotate the text. And we have some reflection options and things like that. Once again, if we click on the A, we have all our text options, including our entire list of fonts available on our system. So we can change our font as well. Now, if we go ahead and we go to the Shapes tool, and I'm going to click on the Shapes tool, and I'm going to go ahead and draw a rectangle. And we see that the Design Central has changed to show all the options available for the rectangle. If we go back to the Select tool and select that rectangle again, we'll notice we've changed again. And once again, we have Sizing, Rotation, and the Rectangular options. So anytime that you're working in Create and Cut, Design Central will reflect everything that you are doing at that given time. I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple more options. I'm going to click on the Outline tool. And notice that our outline options are available. We can see them in Design Central now. We've got a few different options, though, that we haven't seen so far. Now one thing I'd like to draw your attention to, which is really important in Design Central, is in the bottom right hand corner. We have a red X which cancels the operation that you just did. And we have a green, error, a green check mark, which by clicking on it, sets those options and makes them permanent. Now Design Central is really important, and if you're working in Create and Cut, Keep an eye on Design Central and you'll always know what you're doing at any given time and you'll be able to make changes directly in Design Central at all times. So that's Design Central.